Hello everyone, uh, Moa here. We will be delving into how I go about line art personally. Um, apparently there has been, not necessarily a demand, but a lot of people are curious and I feel like, fuck it, why not? So let's do it. Um, Alright, so I did about two speed paints in the last two days. Not hard at all, but just so you guys know. So, you probably saw the line art the way I did it there, but it might be too fast, so we'll do it slower here. My, on my to-do list today is to draw a female plume beast. Um, and if you don't know me personally or don't, like, watch what I do outside of YouTube, then a plume beast is just a species of Penne Raptor from an alternative natural historical timeline that I came up with for some world building type junk. Um, I've drawn two males and some males in my sketchbook. The only other female that's in existence right now belongs to my partner. So we'll, uh, we'll draw one that's not really into that. Alright, and you'll, I'll show you the line art. My settings for my pens will be, you know. So you can pause it and take screenshots or whatever, but this is one of my primary line art brushes. Oh, wait, we are in the wrong layer. Uh -huh. um, I call it this disc. And it's a pretty dank brush. Uh, my stabilizer is always set to S1. Right now. Uh, ever since day one. I used to do zero, but it wasn't as elegant as I, as I would have hoped. So I, can I even still do S1? I mean zero anymore? It's been like two years. Very poorly. Um, not as much. I can still do it, but not as well as I would have liked. So S, so Vistus, uh, stabilizer S1, and that's for all my brushes. Um, ba, ba, ba. And my other line art brush is Lead 2. Really good for sketchy lines. I also use this for lining, but it's not necessarily a good brush for the edges of, of, um, of creatures, like the outer lines, because once you click select, it gets like this. Um, another brush, alt lead, which is also pretty good. Use this one a little bit less than this disc, but still a good brush. I use it for tuny lines and stuff. It's very good when you make it a little bigger. Yes. Okay. And if you're curious what's playing in the background, it's Blanco White the Lily. Because I'm an emo kid, I guess. Um. Where's all my lining brushes? I have a sketch brush if you guys want it. I use it for fast sketching. It's called Sketch Kid. And the settings are. Yeah. There you go, guys. If you want to go back to them, pause the video, and you'll you'll get there. All right. Um, let's actually use this just to start. So, female plume beasts are smaller than males, with a few. A good deal of sexual dimorphism, regardless of subspecies. One of which is the chest isn't as deep in females. So females are more on the leaner side. And the pelvis is wider about the... The ilium is wider to accommodate egg laying. So I'm just going to sketch... A really basic sketch of their pelvis at the side. I 
it's a little too high, but whatever, we'll see where we go. She was vanished by herself, not by me. Okay. Let's see if I'm a little um, I'm going to talk more than about just line art because I can do that because who's going to stop me? Um, America. So I will talk a little bit about creature design. Maybe. We'll see. I don't follow a script. I'm not the most professional person. Um, I'm really a person of maximum establishment. Um, so one good thing to know when designing any creature ever, whether it's a tetrapod, vertebrate, invertebrate, what have you, nudibrac, um, you need to know what makes that animal function, why it needs to function that way, where it lives, what's going on inside and out, whoops. So for me, it's a lot of muscular studies. I don't go to the zoo a lot, but I do have a couple birds in my home, and every so often I do a dissection because birds die. Um, so all this is learned from that, what's underneath the skin, and as well as saving an ass load of anatomy refs. Potassium. We will get into line art as soon as I get this section done all. And I really like to hear what you guys think of this video and like what you'd like to see for future ones if this was a success in any way. So, yeah. Wanted to do this for a pretty long time. Just realized the pelvis is too long. That's not right. Maybe it wasn't. No, it was. Um, okay. The tail itself right now is too thick, but it's a sketch, so. That's the thing that people need to get a little calmer about when they do illustration or designs is go ahead, do a rough. It doesn't have to be the best. And it doesn't need to take forever. But if you have an issue with perfection, then it'll be a long battle to get away from that. But once you do, like, when you just reach the point of, like, fuck it, who's gonna, who's gonna see this? And even if they do, they're not gonna absolutely shit on us, they're a horrible person or don't understand art. Um, you should be fine. I've shown very few roughs on DeviantArt itself, but on other platforms I'm on, I do share whips. Uh, working products, images, and it's always exciting because I get to hear what other people think. But if it doesn't work, then so be it. But I'm really big on realism in my designs, and a lot of times I see critiques on that because I'm a bird nerd, hence the name. Sometimes I don't see everything that's the problem, or maybe a problem later on. So it's it's worth seeking out secondary opinions if you care about realism a great deal. So for plume beast females, the general parameters are the head should be narrower, shorter, softer features, daintier, and more gracile. So in the short way of saying it would it needs to be a little bit neotenic. So a lot of the features retain from the young age 
So a lot of the features are retained that would be from a younger state. So that applies to all plume beasts. I'm not. I subword this like this. I'm not sure if plume beasts will be an open species. We will see. Um, I do know that I wanted to work with them as definitely for the world itself, and the world itself will be have a lot of realistic points and a lot of fantastic uh, influences from like Aborigines, uh, Native Americans, things like that to give it a little bit more. I don't know how to word it, but it won't be all serious. I'm a little bit cynical in life, and sometimes I'll like shit on things that I shouldn't shit on. But I think this this time around, I'm gonna be a little bit more open-minded and let things flow. Come back here, you. By the way, this is my pelvis drawing because I wanted to get some good pelvises. There'll be no... Oh, wait, no, I'm just going to a little bit better. That's better. Right. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um... Okay, female plumes are a little funky. I think the crest is a little weird. Don't want it to look too much like what other people have done for other things. That needs to stay with the rectal bristles. And forehead plumes need to stay. Because this species specifically has those things based on my afro. Okay. Mm, that's close. That's good enough. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Here we go. Damn. Aren't we all a little crazy? Aren't we all? One thing that I think, well, if there's demand for it, I won't put it, like, if there isn't, then I won't put in that much effort for it, but, um, the videos where I just discuss the worlds, the worlds, what's going on in said worlds, and, uh, things like that, I guess I could really also do, like, voice chats that I record when I'm just talking to people about their designs. That eye is too big, and that angle is too wrong. That's not right. Yeah, we'll, we'll return to the head later. This is less deep. The legs aren't thick enough. Oh wait, then I mean that's muscles. The gam's thick. All my songs on repeat always, so there's an issue with that. Leave.
a discussion with somebody about theropod hands, and they brought me back to the realization that the fourth and fifth digit, if they did decide to bring those back via um, turning on dormant genes, they would not be clawed. So this is, it can be drawn this way, but not accurate. That's about right. There you go. That's a... Let's see. Yeah, that's a... An anatomically correct female. I just have to get the head right. I guess I can just erase what's underneath, eh? And now I will change the song. I am now done with you bleachers. Yes. Should I? I don't see why the fuck not. Let me make sure the hands are right and then we'll begin lining. The other day I read a paper, well not really a paper, more of a blog entry, for um, people claiming, well not really people, more of a specific guy, but he probably has a lot of followers, uh, claiming that dinosaurs did not turn into birds and it's impossible. And when I read the title, I thought it was a sarcastic entry to a legitimate paper. I was wrong. Um, if you wanted to be, I am so young and I can debate the living crap out of this guy if anyone ever has a question related to 
uh, avian ancestry and why they are definitely dinosaurs, I would be so happy to answer them with no judgments, as long as you're like actually curious, not trying to like come up on me with some preposterous stuff. Um, I'd be so happy to answer them because for some reason there are still people that think it's impossible and I don't understand why. I don't, who would be gaining anything out of claiming that they aren't, and there's no, there's no scheme for this, there's no, there's no higher power, it's like, yo guys, we, thousands of dollars will be given to you, if you just say that they aren't, dino if birds aren't dinosaurs, and if, if somebody says otherwise, you'll lose your millions of dollars, like, who... Who's that guy? Actually, you know what? I'm making these digits clawed for the sake of making both pictures look pretty much the same. That looks nasty. I don't like that. I think this one isn't bent enough or long enough. Close enough. Okay. Yeah. These last ones have an extra digit. Um, extra bone in there, digit. If I'm incorrect on that, I will correct it later. You know what? That's another problem. I think the arms are long enough. This arm a little longer because I done goofed. I'll make it bigger. Scam. Close enough. Oh, boys, we got ourselves the, the dank old critter now here. What the hell was that? Where'd you come from? Another random line. Actually, better yet. For those who use um, tablets and their tablet picks up on their hands as opposed to your pen here is a hack to fix that so go to your what the hell is all this nonsense oh please go to your start menu and type in device manager there we go click it click it Cl click the hell out of that button actually you only click the ones you don't want to like spam the device manager tabs um Give it a moment. So this is basically where all your stuff talks to each other. Is what the best I can say. I'm not a knowledge person. Go to a human interface and touch screen. Just dis disable that boy. Don't install, don't whatever other button, just disable it. Because so you can turn it back on later and touch your screen. Um, and if I'm correct, yep, doesn't pick up my finger for shit. We are good. And now I won't have any more weird scribbles coming up out of nowhere that I didn't intentionally put in place. Don't need that in my life.
uh, I just want to bring it down, I guess. Not scaling. Oh yeah, my fingers don't work. Selection clear. And back to business. an 8x8 canvas. That image is that big. Yeah, I can make it a little bigger. Shrink it down later as opposed to making it bigger once the lines are in. Scale please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's some good lasago right there. The dink is the lasago. Alright. Um guess I can either reduce this immensely or close it. Um, we need, actually I can get colors later. I want colors now though. I'll get them later. I'm just going to line it here and then I will revert into speed paint mode for the coloring portion because I doubt you guys need my input on that. Okay. Opacity. Sketch. I rarely label these, but I feel like that sketch at a distance looks just as same as my line art would be. And I'll close this because I don't think I need it. Alright, time to line a plume beast. We will be using... What brush did I use for this? Let me bring it over. What, what, what brush? What brush do I use to line this? This looks like both thin lines. This looks like a bunch of brushes I used at once. Okay, so we're gonna use a couple of them. We'll start with lead because yes. Oh yeah, that looks good. Actually, no, don't use it for the outer lines. Actually, I could because. Yes. Use some nice good old scalpulars. So I'll we'll make sure they're portioned just the same as I did them here. I want all my feathers looking like they're in line. Can't have a shaggy female that looks like her feathers all over the place. The thing with my sketchy brushes is they look best, not necessarily best at a distance, but you can really like appreciate more of the rougher tones when you look at them from a distance. Do some quills because some plume beasts are porcupines. But also, some of my, most of my sketch brushes are a lot smoother than you would think. And you can test that for yourself. I might have to turn this one down, it's going to get rocky. Vistus from here. Vistus is a little bit of a smoother brush, so if you like 
not necessarily like smooth as in the way it's applied, but smooth as in the way it looks. It's not as angular as the sketch cat, uh, not sketch it, as the alternative lead was here. No, the lead too was here. She's missing her lips. Plume beasts have lips of sorts. This is actually not far enough forward. I'll use alt lead for this section because, yes. There's sometimes where like I'll use all my lion brushes because they they're all just as good. Like, of course, they have different properties, but when you put them together, they don't necessarily, like, look bad. And you can't really determine whether it was all the same brush or not when you look at them when they're uploaded and what have you. So, why not? Let's change my position because the chair hurt. Okay. It's my cooler feathers. really thinking about going into, well, definitely need to go into it because it's a better paying job, but concept and concept character and creature design for some sort of entertainment company. I feel, haven't had a formal class in it yet. Of course, there are classes in high school, but none of them are to the degree of what I would need to pursue my passions, so... I just take them for the grades. Um, we will, I think I could do it, but we'll find out. Only time will tell, I guess. But I also have an immense passion for animal husbandry and ornithology, so we'll. Although ornithology doesn't seem to be a, as good of a paying job as I would immediately hope, so. It's more like, well, you can do birds, but. Can you also like analyze this entire forest? And I don't want to. I just want to do the birds. So plume beasts have eyelashes, depending on the species, like they taste the length and shape. But the front, or the ones that the the main eyelashes will look more like that of a hornbill, and towards the inner, as they go more towards the snout, they'll begin to look more like fake eyelashes. They'll be more eccentric, and then going back towards the back of the eye they will turn more into not fine, really fine contour feathers. So they get fancy. And that's regardless of um, gender. Females will, pro will have shorter ones, but the males, regardless, they'll still have them. You'll notice them. 
And if you were to have a conversation with the plume beast, you'd probably notice them right off the bat. Like, whoa, what pretty eyelashes you have. All the better to see through your soul with, my lady. Slows back, looks like a hammer caught bird. It's a good bird, but I don't want that in my female uh, Gigas Plumbies. Oops, cut. Orange, Mexico. use the Vistas brush it always comes out more blocky like the way I I sketch with it as opposed to more of the smoother lines but that's not necessarily a bad thing and I especially do feathers a little bit more blocky but at a distance I think you can appreciate it more You know, heads look like right now. They need. That's arched correctly. This needs to go up more. Unlike classic birds, plume beasts have heat pits. Well, not necessarily heat pits, they're chemoreceptive pits that lead directly into their Jacobson organ, but as they have, a, of course, a pit that leads from the roof of the mouth, but they also have two or more depending on species um, that lead from the sides of the maw itself from the premaxilla but we will cover that more as I develop species more for the past year Plumbees have been exclusively just the one character that's in the background of this one and it's been my fursona so it hasn't been until two weeks ago that I decided that maybe it's time to work on them as a feasible species as opposed to just the character. I think it'll come out as a good project. Maybe make little books for it. lead brush right now because it's a little more smooth when it comes to this bit. I'm just like stretching it over longer lengths. Thank you. 
indeed. I'm going to remove her chin feathers. I think I like that more. Have you ever been in Mexico, peeps? I'm not surprised how quiet it is in my house. Should be a, my chicken crowing or something. I have like a lot of them. Okay, there was a pause so you didn't notice it, but I decided to go out and feed my my chickens, my outdoor ones. Feed the indoor ones a little bit later. So it was hot outside. Yes. It's a good song. Oh, yes. Okay, this one. Okay. thinking I'll just I think mean, I can do all the wire now I I've learned throughout the years that the some of the best ways to do line art is to do a lot of fast strokes for the smaller details don't like zoom in and go oh yeah Actually, no, if that's your thing, you can do that. I'm not going to show other people's techniques. That's just the way I do it. I think I want... I think this, is, this cast is about to get a little not safe for work. I need to actually... Are the mustards, the mustards even visible through the feathers? Nah, not really. Okay, I don't need to do that. Let's bust out my, um, chicken anatomy refs. So I have a lot of, like, images for that. Especially, like, the way that the leg muscles are arranged. Because that's very interesting, and not a lot of people know what that looks like and how to replicate it. I'm no expert, but I, I found that dissections and stuff is a good way to learn how they're arranged. Even if you're just like cleaning a chicken or a fish for a family meal, take the time to just, my mom gets mad at me when I do it, but just take the time to look what's there 
before you just like let's throw this in the pot or let's deep fry it just take some pictures or have one of your friends take pictures if you're weird about like touching the chicken and then like your phone or whatever is out but, you know. um take some pictures and stuff you might find something that you didn't notice before so a lot of people think especially with flamingos for some reason think that the leg is bent backwards and they walk with their knees like somebody broke their legs the other way or their knees are facing their way and that's not true it's just for a lot of birds you can't see the the knee and the femur or is it femur? Femur, bro, femur. yeah you can't see the femur so i guess i can't like really shit on anyone for not knowing that but I feel like if you're an adult and you have eaten a chicken before or cleaned a chicken before, you should know. Because I have gone to the zoo many times and heard adults tell their children, their legs are bent backwards. Isn't that amazing, kids? How interesting is nature? And I sit there and I'm like, yo, man, don't teach your kids lies. not correct. But I kind of went off on a, a digress. Um, take the time, guys. If you care a lot, if you care a lot about getting the, the musculature right, save so many refs. I have a good portion of my drive space on my like actual computer is um, is nature references for muscles, cladograms, stuff like that. And then the other portions, my actual artwork. Which I've been clearing into a free disc, um, portable, not portable disc. Some sort of sand disc. Oh, a drive. I'm taking it onto a drive now, so I have more space. Not that much, but there's space now. Saddle plumes down. They're like sharper rooster tails, I guess. Okay, we have a good portion of this done. Do the feathers from the wings. Oh, now they're arms. No, wings are wings. Regardless of their current function. Dusty room, come to assume that I've been doing to lose my mind. Do the fact. That's my case. Okay. We have to go. I'm gonna have to erase one bit right there. I just realized how much it would suck if I actually, like, when I start editing this, I realize that none of the audio is recording. That would, that would make me want to kill myself. Let's 
spend like so much of my time just recording just the screen. Like none of my actual voice was recorded while I was doing this. And it would have all but been done in vain. Actually, am I recording? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Shoot. Been going for close to an hour. And soon I will be jumping into speed paint mode. Because Pulse is done. I think this chest is still too deep. Oh yeah, I can't touch my screen. Actually, I can edit that after I do the hands and junk. So much of my battery doing this. Not battery. My phone battery. Playing music. Um, I guess it's in that section of the bit. I guess I can just open the knuckle and jump up. Legs, legs, and do the legs, or I can jump to tail. That's right. That's good. Too short. Well, not too short. Too narrow as of right now. Too narrow. Actually, no, that's just right. That's good. No, not good enough. Okay. 
queen beasts are, as I said in the beginning of the video, uh, Panairaptor, meaning they have panaceous feathers, or um, the feathers are, what's panaceous feathers? Flight feathers, things like flight feathers, contour feathers, um, feathers that aren't, um, things that have, I uh, best of the best way to describe it, things that have barbs and vein, uh, barbs and veins and interlock to form smooth surfaces, like that of, like, chickens, ducks, and what have you, uh, not the feathers of, say, an ostrich, or picno fibers, or simple, simple barbs, I mean, uh, simple, yeah, sim not barbs, simple shafts and stuff like that. Also bust out my chart for this. I will bust out my chart for this. I'm be stupid. Parks. This for me. I'm gonna be in. Maniraptora clayed. I don't know if this covers penny raptors. Actually, it should. It should. This is from Tetrapod Zoology Blog or whatever I said the image credit goes to them. Uh, so, this is the Mana Raptor tree. I'm doing, supposed to be doing the lines, yet I'm doing this. Real professional, Moa, real professional. Okay, screenshot. Um,. There's your story. So these guys have both simple feathers like uh, shafts and quilt. Okay, you know what? Okay, so here's the man raptor from the tree. Um, Bleachy raptors, micro raptors. I think there's a challenge that's going on right now on DA for making domestic ones, but I'm not partaking because I have other things I need to do first. Um, I wish it was when I would have more free time. So, oh yeah, can I have this? So, simple feathers. So their feathers are things like this and things like this. Um, the same applies to Alversaurs. And this is a panacea feather. As far as I am currently aware, This is asymmetrical, but pinch feather. And there's a contour feather. Here. Okay, so, and the rest of the bunch have these. And plume beasts would sit either here or. Actually, not even here. No, are they dromaeosaur? They'd be just before dromaeosaurs, so they'd be their own brand trade. So one of these two is plumbies. If they don't have a sickle claw. But they are a parade as well, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So back to business. I am so distracted. I don't get anything done. Okay, um closer. I'm gonna shoot the tail and put the piece of the detail that I'm gonna get enough for um refs. And flesh out rest for individual plenty species, which will take a while because they 
have the next variety. It's like Darwin's Finches, I guess. Now, a little bit more than Darwin's Finches. A lot more than just beak variation. Now we really have a true beak. It's more of a keratin tipped premaxilla. Here's that ping is it's my Discord, so I guess somebody's either sending messages or talking to somebody else, but it's a lot, so I'm assuming it's the latter. Yeah, it's probably the latter. Um, I'm gonna wait here sending me these many messages in tandem. It's a little, not too time consuming, but it's a bit more of a process, especially because I, I'm very particular about what colors I choose. I'm not past all that, and I don't like overly saturated colors either.
put down I'm pretty sure my line that it stays the same to some degree or other. I'm pretty sure I have them all in the same settings for when it comes to how they lay depending on pressure. I'm going to do my edits and have to make the chest less deep.
just refine it because in some cases I don't like the way things are looking. That's about it. Okay. Now you can stay and watch and watch the actually. I got a wheel in there. Oh, I do. This will be a speed paint. Stay and watch if you so desire.
Je ne sais, je ne sais rien de vous Je ferais mieux, je crois De m'en aller sans rien dire Qu'attendez-vous de moi Kiss me.